Well, absolute shock. It's just kind of a shame to see. The investigation into the attempted assassination of former President Trump and the death of a man attending the rally, leaving Americans in shock and sadness, political parties aside. This is the prime example of what we hope never happens in our political discourse. I think the big fear that I and a lot of other folks have is that what if this isn't an isolated incident? What if this is, you know, a cork coming out, in which case we're in a very scary place. Political analysts looking ahead to the RNC this week and the election in November. I think uh, you'll see Democrats be pretty quiet. You will see uh, Republicans uh, praising Trump uh, at, at the convention in Milwaukee. They have a script. They have their speakers. They have their themes and their messages. And this will certainly add to it because the former president just survived an assassination attempt. Both applauding President Biden's condemnation of the attack. Galdieri says Trump will likely continue cultivating an image of strength throughout the RNC, with many voters just as likely to respond to that image. It's natural to sympathize with somebody in this sort of situation. So if you're, you know, an undecided voter, a voter who had voted for Trump in the past but was not sure what to do this year, uh, this sort of thing might nudge you towards him. So both Spradling and Galdieri say despite some online chatter, they don't believe President Biden and former President Trump will be sitting down together anytime soon to address the public.